Hello everyone. Today we are going to be using Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint to make some botanical art. I have an example behind me here. Um, this is made out of a large piece of plywood. However, you can really size it to whatever your needs are for your particular home. My name is Anna Price and I have a blog known as skylarkhouse.com and on the blog we talk about vintage and antique items, we talk about refurbishing furniture, and we also share little DIYs um, and small projects like the one that I'm going to share with you today. So the first thing we need to do is gather our supplies. Uh, we are going to be using Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint in the color typewriter. We're going to be using a few drops of Milk Mix Easy, and that's just so that when you mix your milk paint together with the water, this helps things get incorporated a little bit easier. We're going to be using some Miss Mustard Seed Milk Wax. Um, it's called Antiquing Wax. It's a dark color. <clears throat> We're going to need some wood glue. We're going to need some gold spray paint. We're going to need some trim pieces. Uh, that you can buy at your local hardware big box store. And th these are going to be the frame around the edges of your plywood. You're going to need some C clamps, and these will attach the frame to the plywood. And then, of course, you're going to need a piece of plywood. And the trick here is you want to get a good quality piece of plywood, you want it to be smooth on the surface. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take, oh I almost forgot, you're also going to need some of these botanical transfers and you can get these online at multiple places. You can also buy them from Etsy. There's a number of people who sell them and they come in all kinds of designs so you can have flowers, birds, what have you. There's a whole bunch of different images to choose from. So the first thing we're gonna do is sand our plywood. I just used like 150 grit sandpaper just to kind of go over it really quickly and make sure it's smooth. Then of course you just wanna wipe it down. Uh, once you've done that, then you can mix up your milk paint. And I've already created this and pre-mixed it. And this is a fabulous product. It's all natural. It's plant-based. It's made with four ingredients. And it's also made in the United States, which is nice. So you want to just go ahead and apply a coat of your typewriter. And I would say it takes about two coats of paint. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, there should be a link in the description with the code, I believe it's 10 off SH. And that will save you 10% on your purchase. Okay, so this is painted. Just go ahead and wipe my hands down. So it, here's a, a little bit of a screenshot for you. You can see one side that I just painted, and then the other side had previously been painted. And the great thing about using typewriter is it really dries into this almost like velvety matte finish, uh, which is just is lovely. So then you're going to take your trim pieces, which start off like this, right? And you're going to cut them to the size of the, each of the four uh, edges of your, your plywood. Take them outside and spray paint them. I use gold. Um, they'll dry pretty quickly. Um, and then when you come back, you're going to see that it looks like this. And 
I don't know if you can tell, but to my eye, this looks too shiny and new. I wanted it to have a little bit more depth and character and age to it. So I just applied some of the antiquing wax to these pieces. And you just want to kind of work the wax <clears throat> into the grooves and the little pieces here. And you can apply as much or as little as you think is appropriate or necessary. But I just think it gives the frame a nice depth. So you take your rag, you just want to remove any excess. So here's what it looks like after you applied the antiquing wax. Then once that's done, you're going to take some wood glue, put some wood glue on the back, and you're going to line it up along the edges of your plywood. Um, and then I use C clamps to kind of keep it in place. These obviously are not clamped, but I want to kind of tilt it up so you can see what it looks like. And then once that is done and your paint is dry, you're ready to attach your transfers. So you can cut out the individual pieces. Um, I have a piece right here that's already cut out. And basically you want to put them down to have the design as you want it to look. You want to lay them out first. And then once you're happy with how things look, you simply peel the backs off of them. Um, and I'm going to put this here. Set it down where you want it. And there's a little plastic piece that comes with each of these kits. And you're just going to rub and transfer the image onto the, the paint, onto the board. And you can tell when the transfer has been completed because there's almost like an opaque quality to the, to the transfer itself. So I'll show you. And when you're done, you take these little edges off so they don't fall down. It should look like that. So there's going to be a detailed blog post next Friday on the Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint website um, that will kind of go through each of these steps in more detail. So if you want more information, check out that blog post. There'll be photographs and you know links and things to kind of show you how I, I created this project. Um, and I want to thank the Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint Company for having me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on your projects.